All right, so you know Manhattan has its fair share of Chinese food restaurants, but vegan Chinese, eh, not so much. That is until Fat Choi came along. Their vegan Chinese cuisine is getting a whole lot of buzz. The person to check it out, Crystal Young, here with more. Crystal, I was like, is it good? Tell me. <laughs> Let me know. You know I would tell you the I deal. No tell lion. <laughs> I really loved this food. I am not vegan. I embraced it. And the owner has tons of sustainable ideas that you can steal. Take a look. Lots of great businesses start by solving a problem. When Justin Lee couldn't find Chinese food with tasty vegan options, he created it. Fat Choi on Bloom Street is labeled as vegan Chinese fast food. Sounds strange, tastes delicious. When it came time to open our own place, we really wanted to have children. Okay. And it felt like the right thing to do to try to make a vegan restaurant that everyone can enjoy, um, you know, without judgment for anyone, just a place where the food's so delicious, you might be helping the environment. At Fat Choi, nothing goes to waste, and I mean nothing. Justin finds ways to use things that most people throw away. From fully utilizing vegetables, uh, we make a stock for our most popular item, which is the mushroom sloppy. And then we take those vegetables, uh, we take those vegetables and kind of bind them with sticky rice for our dumplings. Okay. So there's a lot of just, you know, using up those food scraps. It's so hard because it's always like, you know, do I want to buy a bunch of parsley when I need a couple of sprigs? What am I supposed right. to do with all that stuff? Right. Um, you know, and herbs are a great thing for either, you know, you want to throw in a vinegar to flavor a vinegar and then you can use it later for a dressing or something like that. Okay, okay. Or even if you, if you like, are a more serious cook, you can put it, uh, put it in, in salt and then kind of season stuff with, you know, an oh, herb salt. Right, yeah. right, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everything you buy, you're looking at, how can I stretch this? How can this be more yeah. than just one dish? Yeah, you know, we're a mom and pop joint. We, we don't have millions of dollars behind us. We have to utilize everything. And then, you know, from just the perspective of someone grew this, it took gas to get here. Yeah. We want to make sure that we use the whole vegetable. A pandemic opening, September 2020. But somehow, Fat Choi has not only caught on, it's getting lots of praise. With his sustainable ideas, Justin is able to keep the prices low. Nothing over 13 bucks. But he's not compromising on flavor. It's pretty mouth-watering. Justin says, without a doubt, the most popular thing on the menu is the mushroom sloppy. There's a couple different mushrooms. There's flower shiitakes, regular white button mushrooms, uh, a little bit of smoked tofu, and then some seasonings, onions, peppers. It's not too spicy. It's just nice and savory. And we'll put our Chinese slaw in there. This is a Napa cabbage, cucumber, carrots, and cilantro, seasoned with a little bit of vinegar. Finally, it was time to taste the fruits of Justin's labor and get a breakdown of some of his dishes. But first, let's start with the name Fat Choi because I have questions about where that came from and I know you have answers. Gotcha, I do. Yeah, so Fat Choi is part of like the colloquial uh, greeting for the, for the New Year's, for someone wealth and prosperity in the year. Uh -huh. um, and then Choi is synonymous with, you know, green vegetables, be it bok choy, uh -huh. orange choy, yu choy. Um, and, you know, we're a fast food joint, so we want to make the fat with our vegetables. That's what it comes from. <laughs> All right. Fat me up with some greens. Yeah, I good. like it. What a fantastic table of food. It was hard to know where to begin, but we started with the rice, beans, and greens. We cooked a good bit of the stems, some of the, the, the more fibrous stems, again, going to dumpling production, mm -hmm. which is our second most popular type them. Mm -hmm. So it just makes sense. The cucumber salad was to die for, so was the chubby rice rolls and the cauliflower. Flower. There's that hard, that, that hard center heart for the cauliflower, the, the, the green leaves that come on the outside. Uh -huh. Normally it's thrown away. Uh -huh. Here we, you know, we take the, the heart and we cut it into like little planks, like playing cards, mm -hmm. and we fry those up because it's tender enough to eat like oh that. Oh my. Final thoughts? Back when we opened, there were 80, 100 pounds of, of uh, compost. Mm -hmm. I had to bite that stuff over mm -hmm. the compost center. Mm -hmm. So now we're just using, we're using everything. I love it. I think it's because I'm lazy. <laughs> It's also, you know, but it's also, it's delicious. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Fat Choi, vegan Chinese that's good for you and the environment and your wallet.
I am smiling because I feel like I'm still tasting it. I really do want you to try it and report back. I'm telling you, you got me sold. He said cilantro. I was like, done. I'm there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It is excellent. He does amazing things you wouldn't think he could do with vegetables. You're losing zero flavor. And I, and I was wondering, like, how do you keep the price at 13 bucks, especially with the price of the cost of everything has gone up. How's exactly. he doing that? I have no idea how he does it. He said, look, I call myself fast food, even though it's vegan Chinese. And yeah. so, you know, take advantage of it. I like before it. Before it goes up, I'm don't tell go, it, Justin. I know, right? I'm going to have to try before the prices go up. Yeah. I still think so much. You're welcome. Now I'm starving. <laughs>